Okay guys, hey it's me again. I'm here trying to make this video for you guys just to show you two quick things you can do to actually get your fans to run a lot quieter. Uh, the first thing you need to locate is the end and that's this guy right here. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of a science lesson. Don't take this the wrong way. You guys are not dumb. This cable is the one that allows the fan to really do most of the work. This is the positive that comes in is the ground. It's the positive that gets in where the electricity comes in. These two are actually the grounds. And the grounds carry different voltages actually. One carries two and one carries seven. This over here on the other hand carries five. What you want to do to get the fan to run a lot slower, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the this pin and that pin from over here. Alright, I'm going to do that for you right now. Uh, be it the camera, can't see shit. Alright, press that in. Press that in. Now, early disclaimer anything else that you plug into the other side of this can get damaged because it's going to be running at a lower voltage, so you most definitely want to mark this off first. So. Uh, it's not out yet. Sorry, the video quality is poor. I'm recording from my phone because my camera is Dito. Alright. So, now that you have it out, you want to take a pin, very, very sharp pin, and you want to pull them back out. Now the trick to do this, let me see if I can get it as close as possible. The trick to doing this is to get the pin in underneath and just pull up one side just enough that you can get it out. Just like that. And then use the pin to push through all the way on the other side. Yes, if some of you are wondering if I have big hands, the answer to that is yes. You want to do it for the other side as well. There we go. And push all the way out. Alright. Now, what you want to do is you take the black pin that you took out and you place it all the way on the other side you took that red from. Then you take the red pin and you put it where you remove the black from. Alright. And when you plug the fan in, that's how it becomes a lot more silent. It becomes silent that means it's spinning slower. That also means it moves less air. That could be good for some radiators like this, the one off the Corsair H40. I'm going to be reusing it for a little mod later. We'll show you guys that when it comes around. And um, for other radiators like the XSPC RS240, like this big 240 rad, it loves them. The RS and RX360 also loves them quite a bit. Oh, wow, everything's falling down now in the workshop. So yeah, that is one way of doing it, and it's pretty effective, but remember, you can't plug anything in on the other end. The other method is to do something a bit more drastic. You need to find an old computer case, and you need to cut off these boys, this one. Let's see if the camera will focus on it. Well, basically, this is the reset, and what I'm going to do is... I'm going to wire up, I've already done one for you guys, you take the black and black together and you wire them up, then you take the red, wire them up, alright, now you're going to take the black and you're going to put it together, and if you have electrical tape, now would be a good time to tape over the black and you're going to bend it, I always advise this, bend it back so when you pull it up you can pull it through 
and create that little circle and nut. Let's see if we get a little closer. Alright. Create that little circle and nut. Then you take the green and you run it to the red. And pretty much you do the same thing. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna tape both sides together. And after you tape both sides together, you can plug it into your motherboard fan header wherever you locate one and you get to run it. You get to run it freely and you get to run it quietly. Now it will be running slower. These fans spin at 2500 RPM so basically I'm knocking them down to half. So that will be around 1450 something like that. And you still get decent airflow but if you're running this on like a heat sink or a radiator your temperatures will rise. So this is just a quick mod video. Um, you've already seen these fans have actually done this before and fans are running over there in the beast yeah I sit over there in the beast with the 480 and they're normally plugged in there but I actually took out the header just to make this fit so yeah I'm just letting you guys see this and who knows later on I might actually have more uploads of modern tips and tricks you can use and yeah so it's just me out let me know what you want to know about and I'll see if I can do it for you alright thank you